So good morning again everybody and we are back out on another one of these, a second Milano this week and these things are selling like the proverbial hotcake currently out of stock until April as are all bikes with Lexmodo at the moment we're awaiting stock so middle of March, beginning of, uh, middle of March, beginning of April to get those new bikes in we have got coming ZSBs, Assaults, Iskers, Titans, Milanos, and they are all going to be new Euro 5 specifications. Thank God for that. Um, but we're out on this, a little 125, not a little, but a 125. I keep calling it little, and apologies to my uh, viewer that keeps saying me, you call all the bikes little, I am just so used to it, obviously riding the 750 and a 1400. 125 is a little bike to me. But uh, we're out on a 125 scooter and we're going to be doing the urban route today. Big bump and that soaks it up nicely. I tend to uh, ride the urban route or do the dual carriageway route and today we're going to be doing the urban route. I'm going to crank the first lot of road mileage up on this one. This one's due to go out in about a week's time. So there's two lots of ride testing to do on this and down to me just to check brakes indicators lights horn all the usual bits and pieces make sure everything's working and ride test this bike at 40 mile an hour and you can tell from these back roads they're bumpy hence why i want to test the suspension out on these make sure she's all running good and suspension on this it's i'd say mid to firm on this one you do feel a lot more of the road than you would on a titan and one thing i do sort of dig on about is mirrors now these mirrors little round mirrors and I've got about 50% of my shoulder in that mirror even if I set it up correctly so I could do with a little bit wider mirrors on this one really but I never have an issue with mirrors I tend to do a lot of shoulder checking when I move around and obviously just using that mirror to see if anything is behind me but shoulder checkers lifesavers are a necessity I'd always say make sure that you're double checking all your junctions twice before you pull out and making yourself aware to other car drivers that you are there. So if you are riding 125, you're a learner. Shoulder checks are your basic requirement, I would always say. Get them shoulder checks in. So obviously we're running around town at 30 mile an hour. There's a lot of speed bumps down this way, which gives me plenty of time just to check what the suspension is like on this absolutely spot on braking system on this obviously with the new uh, Euro 4 and Euro 5 bikes they are a combined braking system so front brake front brake only left brake is rear brake front brake in a mix of about 70 to 30 or 60 40 but you're always going to get more braking force off your front brake and I always say easiest way to remember it right hand dry weather left hand wet weather a very nice display on this milano very easy very simplistic so you, all you've got there is just your speedometer fuel gauge indicators main beam and engine management light that is all you need on the basic bike forget a rev counter on a twist go scooter you don't need to know how many revs it's doing you can normally tell from the sound of the engine what's going on underneath if it's screaming its head off you're going too fast obviously roads are a little bit damp this morning currently around about seven o'clock and great lane positioning from the lorry first lane hence why you leave that gap or leave yourself a good braking distance now we was on YouTube last night, if you missed out on it, we were on the Jim Diesel show and chatting bikes and just chatting basic bits and pieces about biking and about Harleys, so if you are into any of the channels and a couple of good channels that I can recommend and that's Bikes, Beards and Brews, all the links are down on the bottom of my YouTube for all of those bikers that I follow but uh, the ones that we tend to hang around out on the channels are Bikes, Beers and Brews, Burning Gas, Alling Ass, Jim Diesel, Z-Head Moto Vlogs, a Military Biker, and then sometimes if Salty and Sprinkles are on as well we give them a pop in and give them a mention, but there are loads and loads of bike channels, so jump on and follow some of those, 
those guys do know their stuff very very well knowledge guys that have been in the biking business for absolutely years and you can pick up loads of hints and tips pop in have a chat on the show and then obviously the others that we follow as well Ponkster another good one Isle of Wight Rider but there are so many to mention and I try to shout out as many channels as I can and obviously big congratulations congratulations going out to uh, my friend Burning Gas Hauling Ass He's hit 2,000 subscribers this week, so well done to him. And obviously, the follows, the likes, the comments are much appreciated by all of us YouTubers. And obviously, big shout out to Lex Moto. They've come out with some really good bikes over the last couple of years. Now, the one thing that uh, we do get, and we get it a lot on the Facebook page for Lex Moto owners, is. Uh, or oh, bought a Chinese bike, it's packed up after three months, or it's packed up after six months, it's got this, this, this and this. If you are doing your basic maintenance, looking after that bike, it shouldn't break down. But it's all down to what the dealer does at the point of preparation. Now, a lot of dealers are sort of turning bikes around, and I keep banging on about this, turning the bike around in two to three days. Now, you'll go in, place your order, place your deposit, or pay for the bike in full. Oh, we'll get your bike out to you in two to three days. That is not going to be enough time unless they have pre-prepped that bike to make sure it's absolutely perfect. We do bang on about this and we take two to three weeks on every bike that we sell for the simple reason is we want to ride test it to the maximum. We ride test normally around about 20 on every bike, give or take bad weather. And obviously with the, with the snow and the ice that we've had over the last weeks um, we have been putting bikes out at sort of about 15, 18 we've not managed to get the full test mileage and if you've watched some of my videos I have absolutely frozen myself stupid getting ride test mileage in but it has to be done for the customer's purpose and as you can tell from the clock 40 mile an hour sitting nice and steady ride testing this and absolutely zero issues from the engine a quick couple of shoulder checks there. I can tell from the mirror there was nothing behind me, nothing better just to check that blind spot over the shoulder. So we ride test for around about 20 PDI, QC, bolt checks, and we repeat those twice. Final bolt checks, absolutely everything. Two lots of ride test mileage as well. And simple reason being, if we find an issue on the first ride test, then it gets us time to get on the Lex Moto, order the parts in, or go hunt in the stock room and see if we've got a new part in our stock room. But a dealer doing anything in two to three days, you're not going to get your ride test mileage. And we have had customers quoting saying, oh, I've only had four miles on my bike when I got it. It's not going to be enough time to see if that bike has got an issue. You need to thoroughly test these bikes. Once you've got your bike, it is up to you to make sure that you stick to 40 mile an hour for the first 500 kilometres. That is a necessity. That is running in oil in these engines. And then they have a full oil change on that. Once you've done that, you can up the bike to 50 mile an hour tops. 55 in bursts, as it says in your Lexmoto manual. And that will take you up to 1500 kilometres. 932 miles. Once you've done that second service and then you are good to go full speed but I'd always say never ever rag one of these full speed the idea is you want longevity of the engine these sit comfortably around about 55 60 and a lot of people go oh yeah but my Yamaha YZFR 125 does 75 yes but you're probably absolutely ragging the pants off of that bike and that engine is not going to last we have seen so many CBRs and why has the come to us in the last few weeks that are owned by 17, 18 year olds and the first thing we pick up on is the chain absolutely dry as a bone, rusted solid, locked up you go and adjust it, lube it and you get a shed load of slack in the chain, adjust the chain and then normally back a week later and the chain's gone slack again, well you should lube it you should be lubing your chain or monitoring your chain at least once a week obviously not over lubing it so you're chucking oil on the back tyre but you should be maintaining your bike, checking your oil level, checking your tyre pressures, indicators, lights, etc, etc. I tend to do that on every ride that I do before I even take a bike out. And it's one of those just basic things that you learn 
before you take a bike out. You're not going to go just jump straight on a bike, put a key in if it's not your bike or if it's a new bike, and just take it down the road. You want to make sure that that bike is 100% safe. So hence why we do a lot of what we do. And obviously on these little 125s, they are, as I say, bomb-proof if you maintain them. And it's nothing better than a good coat of ACF 50. A lot of people bang on, oh, they, but they rust, they rust. Any bike will rust. Yeah, but it's not like a Honda or a Yamaha, blah, blah, blah. They're all made in the same area. Believe it or not, Honda parts and some of the Suzuki parts are all made in the same factory in China. Most of it is all in the same engineering area in China so they do shed loads of bikes but it's normally all the parts are all the same which is what we get on some of these bikes so don't be put off by the myth that Chinese bikes are absolutely rubbish because some of the big brands parts are made in China most of it is shipped from, from, from Japan to China now Obviously just being physically aware of rubbish in the road. So if you are looking at Lex Modo, damn good bike. The Titans, I bang on about our Titans all the time. I absolutely love those little scooters. Nice little 125 run around, ideal for urban shopping. Obviously the ones that I do like geared at Tempest GTs, the LXRs. LXR is a lovely, lovely ride. We've got the SC in, and we've also got the LXR 380 in stock now. And we went out and did the very, very first ride of that. Spicy had the Vendetta 250, I got the LXR 380. And that is such a gorgeous ride. Almost got that thing knee down as well on the first couple of miles. So, LXR is a very, very good bike. What I am looking for, obviously, and there's a lot of new products coming out from Lex Moto in the next couple of months, I would love to see another motocrosser. That would be a, a really good ride to see one of those motocrossers out. I did love the old Adrenaline. Such a good bike, and there's loads of them that are still going. And they're going and going and going and going. So that's another good one. And I'd also li like to see, obviously we've got the Michigan, but I would like to see a second cruiser brought out by Lex Moto. Very, very good cruiser, that Michigan, but I do like some of the older retro cruisers. Now, I'm not a cruiser lover normally. I tend to be a bit of a sports bike rider. But there are some very, very good products from Lex Moto. So we're going to head back to the garage now first 6k on the bike and then the final little bit to do in a couple of days time and then one final ride test on the day of handover as always if you enjoyed the video hit the button down bottom click the like click the subscribe thumbs up if you enjoyed it two thumbs down if you didn't that works as Jim Diesel would say and then don't forget uh, if you want to see the next video, hit the notifications bell, smash the hell out of that. Have a wander down, read the feed on the bottom of every video. That's got all the bikers that I follow, links to all the garage. And all my stuff can be found on revbomb.co.uk. Pop across to the website, social media page, all the links are in there. And 6k in and this bike is absolutely spot on, L loving it. And those brakes, that combined braking system, very, very effective on this one. So whatever you're doing this week, have yourself a good one. Don't forget, pop across to YouTube, check all those guys out. We'll probably see me on the feeds tonight. We're normally on every night on a different bike channel. And I'm on there giving my uh, comments and objections or my positives chatting all about bikes with all the boys and until the next time from rb not so cold this morning it's quite nice it's mild and my hands aren't frozen whatever you're doing have a good one be well if you're riding ride safe don't forget hands face and space and until the next time it's a big goodbye from me